Now that is a rare adventure digging site. I don't dig a lot of holes in ploughed fields. But today my sister and my brother-in-law moved into their new house and I helped move them. So I thought why not try to get a permission around here. And I got the permission and I'm on to my first hole. Let the adventure begin. Come on! Now that is my first old find. Found a few uh, bits of aluminum and stuff like that. But here is our first dropped musket ball. It definitely was not shot yet. But our first relic is in the pocket. Let's find some more. There is an old fort close by so maybe we will dig a lot of those. <laughs> The other one was slightly bigger, but again, a little musket ball. Some other people have been metal detecting here, so maybe they did cherry picking. I hope so. But they, and I mean, there are always some signals left in the field, and well, my job to find them. Hopefully, they left something good. There are not too many finds in this field, but this is a fairly old hook, I think. Really nice green patina. Found some World War II stuff, some, well, grenade shards, stuff like that. This is my next relic. But I think we will get onto something nice. There should be stuff here. Just a small break in the shadow of the trees. Oh, nice to be out of the sun for a minute. But I want to know what's here, so. Let's dig on. I think it's my first time in an onion field. But it's amazing to me how many small onions are left in the field. Goodness me. Probably they're too small for the machine. Started off scratchy, but we ended up with the first button of the day. A military button with the Dutch lion on it. If I'm correct, I think they're like roughly from the Second World War uh, period. The shank is broken off, but if I clean it a little bit, the line is definitely very visual. Well, no coin yet, but at least we found something round. <laughs> round and flat. You never know. And they get bigger and bigger, who knows? Maybe we will find the cannonball as well. <laughs> that is a big one, goodness me. <laughs> I think this is a fired one. Some iron in it as well. Wow. <laughs> goodness me. I had hoped for a little bit older coin. But this is late 1800s, early 1900s, a one cent. But the first coin is in the pocket. <laughs> These things are made out of copper. They give such a good signal. And they're shattered all over this field. Definitely World War II. And they can drive you nuts because they give like big silver coin signal. And you gotta push yourself to keep digging them, but one day it will be a silver coin, and if you leave it, you'll miss it. But, pff, well, at least some good stuff to bring to the scrapyard. Moving to the front of the field now, I'm starting to find a little bit of pewter. Now, these are finds that I'm familiar with pewter spoon handle. Maybe there are a little bit more relics here, but the ground is fairly quiet and like I said a lot of World War II stuff, but we'll get on to something. This find is kind of puzzling me. That could definitely be very, very old. I don't know. Definitely some decoration. 
a little eye on it but I have no clue what it is or how old it is but if anyone recognizes it I would love to know what you guys think this is I was looking at it again and I think I see a dog on it well I'll show you to me that kind of looks like a dog or something like that this could definitely be really old <laughs> I really hope somebody knows what it is I talked about a cannonball I don't have it but I actually got onto a little pistol ball so the musket balls are getting smaller <laughs> well you know we'll take it just a tiny little one will be fun at the wrap up to see them all uh, next to each other this is definitely the smallest one of the day for now and of course when you don't think they can get any smaller you find some buckshot <laughs> well now this is the tiniest little lead ball that I have well I guess they don't want, they won't get smaller than this so now they will have to get bigger I would I would I would say anyway now that is definitely the patina we want to see goodness me same coin as I found previously this one is actually 1878 something like that can't really make it make out the date yet but that patina is so pretty the back is as, just as green as the front at first I thought it was a really old coin but this one will have to do for now it's anyway a bonus day for me because I thought I was gonna be busy all day moving my sister and I have plenty of time left to dig a few holes so can't complain there in it we'll have I have a little bit more time so I think we should just dig a couple of more holes Slamming signal. Well, let's see if we can poke it out. I actually nicked it a little bit. I think. No, yeah, here I did. Well, that is just. But this one is very cool to see that it is actually fired. So, another big fat one. Goodness me. <laughs> this could well be a copper coin. Let's check it out. I see some green already, but we can poke it out together. Well, that kind of looks like a rim, in it? Over there. Let's poke it out. Hopefully, an older one. Oh yeah, finally a doubt. <laughs> ah, so, not a lot of detail on it I think. I'll check it out a little bit, but at least we got ourselves a doubt. <laughs> For sure, a doubt from the city of Utrecht. It would say on this side Stad Utrecht and here would be two lions and a weapon but I'll put a picture up how it's supposed to look so whew, after I think four hours of digging finally <laughs> 1700 coin now that is a very interesting plant I cannot remember I've seen these. Don't know, I have to look it up. Unfortunately, this beautiful day has come to an end. The weather was just so nice. 
and there were some some finds not a whole lot but as I said before it was anyway a bonus day so let's see what we have well I got three coins two 1800 coins one 1700 coin pretty nice button these represent all the grenade shards that I found really found a lot of them a couple of hooks and other brass things found one lead seal and another lead thing on which I have no clue what it is actually two pieces of pewter spoon this represents a bunch of lead that I found here is my interesting dog I really have no clue about the age could be terribly old could also well be roughly 1800s I'm I don't know but maybe one of you can tell me as I asked you before and here are the musket balls two big ones and then it gets smaller and smaller <laughs> definitely enjoyable finds the musket balls especially when they get big thank you Max for this really nice day and thank you all for watching it's really very much appreciated obviously I hope you will tune in again next time but for now take care